YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are going back to my Toyota MR2 Spider 2ZZ uh, boosted and uh, I got some oil leaks on here so I just want to show you guys kind of a tour of the engine and then um, show you my oil leaks and then how we're going to fix them and just give some tension to this car. I know you guys like it and I don't put it on the channel enough. I've been working a lot on the Evo so let's go ahead and look at the car. So here's the current setup. Um, um, this is a, a low race motor, and then I have a Batmobile turbo down there, right off the um, headers. You know, goes into the turbo. Um, pretty quick car, pretty fun. It needs a tune. It has VVTLI, but the VVTLI with the boost just doesn't run that great, to be honest. It hiccups a lot. Uh, it has methanol as well. Um, so we do have an oil leak, and I have some light on there. We're gonna actually come down below, and you can see the oil there. Um, and then I think I have a transmission fluid drip too as well. So I left the car in here for about a week and this is the oil that's come out, it made a mess and then there's a little bit of drip from the uh, transmission. So um, let's come back over here and you guys can see it's quite dirty. Look at all that oil um, and it's been dripping. And then what I think it is is coming off, if you guys come up here, there is a tiny chain sensor or tensioner, sorry, and I think that that's causing it to have the oil leak. So I'm gonna see if I can get a better angle to show you guys. So what I'm actually gonna do, you guys can kind of see in there, there it is, it's that little part behind there. It's kind of not focused, so let's see if I can get it to focus. That part right there, we're gonna get that and pull that off. So what I'm actually gonna do to make this easier for me and myself, we're gonna remove the intake side of the turbo and then we're gonna move the charge pipe side of the turbo. Um, set it aside, we'll of course leave the turbo in there. Um, but then I'll have a nice clean workspace, but there's a lot of drippy oil down there and I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and remove the charge pipes. So this is not hard to remove. I really enjoy working on the MR2 Spider. It's super easy. Um, literally that was like 15 minutes to get all that pulled off. It's so easy to work. It's one of the easiest engine bays ever to work on. They are way more easy than the SW20. Um, so I definitely recommend that you guys, if you're wanting to, to change the engine on a, um, 2ZZ or on a uh, Spider, um, definitely easy to swap into 2ZZ. I love it. I've done it a couple times. Very, very easy. Um, that being said, I pulled off all the um, piping. The turbo's there. We're going to put a little sleeve over the turbo so that nothing, um, hold on, I'll move the light, so that nothing gets in there. So now we can really see all the oil that's leaking down there. So what we're going to do is clean all that off. I'm going to get some brake clean, um, wipe all that down, get, all, get rid of all that residue. Once I have that all cleaned off and done, um, I will pull all the oil out of the car um, and then we'll pull off that uh, timing uh, chain tensioner. To hopefully, hopefully that's where the leak is coming from. I'm not sure, um, but we'll go ahead and clean all that off and maybe I, I can find out where it's coming from. I just, my girlfriend just came in she's like, oh my gosh, how can you smell? If you use CRC uh, brake clean, <laughs> you should probably have a, the garage door open. It's pretty strong. Uh, that being said, I sprayed a lot of it on there. Um, and you guys can see it's actually already starting to clean up. I love this stuff. Um, it's like three dollars for the um, Can and I just spray it on there and then honestly if you just let it go drip down for a while or keep on spraying um, It will kind of just dry off now I do recommend that if you are doing this uh, to wipe it down as well But I will be able to find that leak here soon. It seemed to be coming from right here So I'm hoping it's coming from this. I'm not sure but this is what I was gonna be replacing today um, Yeah yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming from that. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like it's coming from but I hope it's not coming out of the um, the timing chain uh, cover. That'd be a pain, because I really don't want to replace that. I do think I am going to be replacing the serpentine belt as well today. And I do also have a, a bunch of monkey wrench pulleys. I'll show you those in a second. Okay, so I ended up pulling off the uh, serpentine belt as well. It is a 19 millimeter on that uh, serpentine belt tensioner. Um, push forward towards the front of the car, it'll release, and then you just slide it off. Not very hard, you can do it by yourself. The alternator pulley is Monkey Wrench Racing. Um, up there, I don't know if you guys can see that little there. The uh, water pump pulley is Monkey Wrench Racing. And then I have a, a Monkey Wrench Racing idler pulley, but it's not named by them. And then I don't have a um, air conditioner, I deleted it. So anyways, that being said, I pulled off that belt. I'm also gonna clean the side of this before I drain that oil and um, start the process of, of putting the new timing chain uh, tensioner um, seal on. So you can see that it's dry now. I don't really know where the oil leak is coming from. I'm just assuming 
um, that it is coming from that. So um, I, what I could do is I could start it without the um, pretty much the charge pipes on. The 2ZZ will still run, and then I could find if it leaks from there. Um, but what I want to do now, and you guys can see I do, I do have the serpentine belt off as well. So what I want to do now is um, go ahead and drain the oil. I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I think I'm going to drain the transmission fluid as well. Um, and then go get some new oils to put in here. But before we put it in there, I am going to pull this off with the two 10 millimeters back there. And then I'll show you guys how to install the new seal. So let's um, drain the oil and then pull this bad boy off. Um, yeah, I just don't know where the oil is coming from, the oil leak. It always seemed to like come out from like right here. But, you know, maybe if I put a little bit of um, sealant on this, on the back of that, it will prevent the leak. Okay, so draining all the oil. Um, it's been, I think on my thing, it said 2,400 miles since I last changed the oil. It's pretty dark. Um, I know the turbos actually make it where they um, use the oil, you know, get it dirty quicker. But that was pretty dark, so I'm glad I'm changing it definitely time for it to be changed um, I'm probably gonna change it every 2,000 miles maybe with the the 2ZZ turbos um, eh, I think 3,000 is fine but you know this is just shy of the 3,000 it's pretty dirty uh, but that being said I'm gonna go ahead and clean some more of this now that I have all the oil out we're also gonna pull off the um, oil filter which is up in the front of there and then clean all this just pulled the oil filter off. If you don't have one of these, go buy one of these. Um, a 3 8 ratchet wrench, and then this just hooks into it, and it goes right up on the oil filter. Lefty loosey, so easy and righty tighty. That is a great little tool. I think they're like two or three dollars. You'll use it over and over and over. I got one for my uh, 2ZZs, and I got one for my Evo. Absolutely love them. Make sure you get the one that's actually, you know, has the uh, rivets around it. Um, so like my oil filters, the Toyota ones have the tightening on it and then also I do recommend when you get the oil filter and this don't get the adjustable handle it's really hard to ever get it up there so this one works perfect in addition you can also put an extension on here so if you run able to get this up there there's not a closed room you can have an extension it's so easy to get the oil changes that way with the filter now that I drained all the oil I feel comfortable getting this off 10 millimeter 10 millimeter um, I got a Pretty, I think, no, yeah, almost finger, finger loose. When that comes out, there's gonna be a spring on there. If you're doing this, I'm gonna have to walk you through this. Really, really pay attention to this. It's not easy to put this back on, so I'm gonna explain how to do that. But let's go ahead and pull this off, and I'll show you the old seal and the new seal. So to get it off, all you do is you remove the 10 millimeters, and then you take a flathead screwdriver, and there's a little crank, like crack right here, and you can just wiggle. It'll pop itself off. There's the seal. You guys see that seal? That's what we're gonna be replacing. Um, when I popped it off, I didn't really see too much more oil leak, so I was kind of hoping I would see a little bit more. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is just wiggle this off. Okay, so I was able to get it out. Um, if you look online, and I really hope my videos always help you guys. If you look online, everyone's going to say this is a really, really hard job. It's, it's a mediocre hard job. It's not the hardest thing in the world. This is a really good sign, though, because I, you know I'm doing this because it's an oil leak and it's a common area. Look at that sludge. You guys see that? That's to it's totally where it's coming from. So here's the seal. And on this seal right here, that's where it's getting worn and torn. Believe it or not, I actually have a second one of these. Look at this. I, got, I have a huge parch junk thing right here, and I, had a, I have another one of these. So I have so I've had so many 2ZZs in my life. Um, matching. So that being said, we're going to use the same old one. I'm going to clean it up with um, some brake clean. Make it look nice. But the thing that's been wears out is that seal right there. And it is. It's a pretty big gap for the seal. I don't know what the condition of this one looks pretty good actually to be honest. Um, but you can see where the chain wears against it. It's just normal. This engine has about 40,000 miles on it. I have no idea what this one's from. Um, but I did end up buying a new seal and I'm going to show you guys that new seal. Okay, same timing chain sensor or tensioner. Um, I sanded it a little bit. Looks way better. Brake clean. Use a little bit of brake clean on it. It looks so much nicer. Look how clean that. I got rid of the stains of the oil on there. Uh, use, I think, a thousand grit or two thousand grit sandpaper just real quick to uh, scrub off all the oil. From Mon Monkey Wrench Racing, here's the part number. So here's the, um, the new one, 1ZZ and 2ZZ all. Uh, Monkey Wrench Racing right here. Um, timing chain t tensioner O ring. So we're going to put a new O ring on here. Uh, now, to put this back on, it is a special deal, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, before I put it back on, I did want to show you guys to get that O-ring off, you take a flathead screwdriver, small one, and just wiggle it underneath it. It'll slide off. 
Here's the old one, and then I'm gonna put the new one on. And the new one, you can just slide it down. One last thing, I did put a little bit of gasket maker around it, because I don't want it to leak. Um, this is an oil pan, black adhesive sealant, RTV. Um, we're gonna, I put a little bit of that, I just put it on my finger and then put it around there. Uh, I did forget to mention to you guys, sorry, that if you are doing this on the 2ZZ, you're gonna have to loosen this 12 millimeter on the tensioner, and then you're gonna also have to loosen the 17 millimeter, and you're gonna have to use a breaker bar on that one. So you're gonna have to use, I use this, uh, a, half, a half inch breaker bar. All right, once you have it compressed, you're gonna use this little key right here, you're gonna compress it, use the latch key, and then now you're ready to install it. Go ahead and slide it back on and use your 10 millimeters um, to hold it in place. Don't go all the way tight because you won't be able to, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, now that it's back on, you guys can see that it's on there. Tighten it all the way down. I was wrong, you can actually tighten it all the way down. Uh, you can see my little gasket maker, the little black right there, with that new seal on there. So what you're gonna wanna do now, and there is more oil when I pulled it way down there, there is a little bit more oil, which I'm gonna break clean again. Um, what you're gonna wanna do now is go down to the crank, and you're gonna use a 19 millimeter, I believe, and actually crank the, um, the uh, crank on the 2ZZ. <laughs> so we'll go down there and do that now. Okay, I, I did mess up because I wish you guys would have heard it so that you can know what you're listening for while you're doing this. Okay, so underneath here, that right there is the crank pulley. We're gonna actually look through the Lotus wheel. You guys should be able to see right through here. And let me see, right here. So this right here, let's see if it'll focus. That right there is a the crank. So what I did is I came up on here and I put my 19 millimeter and I went uh, clockwise and I, I pulled like that and you can see it, but you could, you could have heard, you kind of heard it right there, but you can hear the um, timing chain tensioner release and it makes this brrr noise and then you're good to go. So now it's been opened back up um, and you're able to kind of start the car again and it's not gonna ruin anything or God forbid, throw the timing off. <sighs> so that's what I did, that's what you need to do. It's not very hard. Um, yeah, and I did end up getting a new serpentine belt so I'm really happy. Since this is becoming such a long video, I'm gonna cut it right here, um, not short because it's a long video. And I'm gonna just name this 2ZZ Tensioner, how to do it on a um, 2ZZ. I think this will be helpful for you guys. Plus you guys just wanna see my MR2, so do I. Um, I am shopping currently for a Toyota Celica. So uh, if you guys know any ones, I'm looking preferably for the year 2000 in black. Must be a GTS and must be manual, six speed. Um, looking one to deliver on a promise that I made you guys. So I'm in the market, I might have found one actually. Um, but that being said, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. What we're gonna do next video is we're gonna put the, cause we already have all the oil out, we're gonna put the new serpentine belt on, we're gonna um, uh, drain the transmission fluid and put new transmission fluid because I've been running just pure MT90, which is for like forced fed transmissions. But I want to use a little bit, I, I mean, I'm not boosting it crazy amount, um, but I wanna use that instead. And then on the final video, I think this might be a three part one for this, I'm gonna actually turn up the boost a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. This is really good 2ZZ MR2 content and 2ZZ content. And then of course, I'll be working on the Lotus Elise Turbo soon as well. So make sure to like, like button, subscribe. See you next on the next video. Bye guys.